Cognitive Restructuring. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy is a psychological intervention that is the most widely used evidence-based practice for improving mental health. Cognitive Behavioral Therapy focuses on the development of personal coping strategies that target solving current problems and changing unhelpful patterns in cognitions, for example thoughts, beliefs and attitudes, behaviors and emotional regulation. The diagram depicts how emotions, thoughts and behaviors all influence each other. The triangle in the middle represents cognitive behavioral therapy's tenant that all humans' core beliefs can be summed up in three categories, self, others and future. The basic assumptions and the idea of cognitive behavioral therapy are that human beings actively process environmental stimuli against the background of previous learning experiences, form expectations about situations, actions and consequences, have a controlling and planning eye and are capable of self-regulation and self-reflection. Cognitive behavioral therapy is based on the idea that our thoughts, feelings and behaviors are constantly interacting and influencing each other. How we interpret or think about the situation determines how we feel about it, which then determines how we will react. The process of cognitive restructuring may be described this way. Identifying irrational thoughts or cognitive distortions in three steps. First, psychoeducation. Second, increase awareness of thoughts. Third, thought records. We would like to focus on three out of a lot of cognitive restructuring techniques. These three techniques are Socratic questioning, decatastrophizing, and putting thoughts on trail. At the end, the process will be rounded up by a review. Before jumping into the doing part of cognitive restructuring, it's important for clients to understand what cognitive distortions are and how powerful they are in influencing one's mood. Start with psychoeducation, referring to the cognitive model by identifying irrational negative thoughts. This is trickier than it sounds. Cognitive distortions can happen so quickly that they come and go before we've noticed them. They are more like a reflex than an intentional behavior. Thoughts. Our brains are constantly using thoughts to make interpretations about the world around us. When we see, hear, touch, smell or taste something, our thoughts will tell us what it all means. Without thoughts, we would be hopelessly lost. Part of thoughts involve making assumptions about our surroundings. Sometimes these assumptions can be harmful. For example, someone might assume that anyone who walks towards them is a threat, even in totally benign situations. Interestingly, people with mental illnesses such as depression tend to have a higher number of unfounded negative thoughts, which we call irrational beliefs. Because we constantly encounter so much information we can only pay attention to a small percentage of our thoughts at any given time. Many of our thoughts become automatic and occur outside of our awareness, as if they are a reflex. These are called automatic thoughts. When a thought occurs automatically, we aren't able to access it for accuracy because we don't even know that it has occurred. We simply accept the thought 
as truth and move on. Sometimes thoughts that are both irrational and automatic can lead us to experience negative emotions without us ever becoming aware of why. Emotions. As a result of our thoughts about a situation, we experience emotions. Some researchers believe that there are six basic emotions which can occur at varying levels of intensity and combinations to create the wide range of feelings we recognize. The basic emotions are love, joy, surprise, anger, sadness and fear. When experiencing emotions, our bodies undergo a number of physiological changes. For example, fear can lead the body to enter the fight or flight response, which includes an increased heart rate, sweating and the tensing of muscles. It's important to understand that thoughts and emotions can occur outside of our awareness, yet still impact our behavior. This knowledge justifies why we need to practice identifying our thoughts and feelings if we want to change our behavior. Core beliefs. The thoughts that we have in any given situation are influenced by our core beliefs. These are beliefs that we hold at the center of who we are. They describe the basic nature of our world. Some examples of common core beliefs are People are generally good. I am unlovable. Everything turns out okay in the end. Or the world is just a dangerous place. Core beliefs are developed from a person's unique personal experience. However, these beliefs aren't always accurate. For example, someone who was mistreated by a parent when they were a child might develop the belief that they are unlovable. But the problem was actually with the parent. Imagine your core beliefs are like a filter that each thought must pass through. If someone has the core belief that they are unlovable, each of their thoughts will have to make sense in the context of that belief. Cognitive distortions. Unhealthy thinking patterns called cognitive distortions can lead to the reinforcement of negative thoughts and emotions. Cognitive distortions are common but irrational ways of thinking that can negatively impact emotions and behavior. Everyone experiences cognitive distortions to some degree, so don't be surprised if you can identify with them or at least with a few of them. Mm -hmm.